excellent. You've got five minutes. All yours, Richard. Thank you. I'm going to be a good guest and I'm timing myself here. So I'm off, off, off against the clock. OK, so five minutes, Create Britain, real expressive, expresso view. What is Create Britain? We are building a new free online platform for finding and promoting everything and everyone in the creative industry, which sounds ridiculously ambitious, but we're absolutely up for it. So why? Why are we building this? And more importantly, why is it that two people with very successful and established career paths at the moment they turned 50 suddenly felt the need to run in a completely different direction? Why did we do that? Well, because we're getting fed up. We were getting fed up with the web. We're getting fed up with the web, the fact that it was driven by these revenue thirsty algorithms. And for all of the, the edgy underdogs, for all of this, this powerhouse of micro businesses that existed in the creative industry, because they haven't got amazing SEO skills or massive advertising budgets, we felt they were being unfairly overlooked. We also got fed up with social media. We're getting fed up with the noise and the pollution on social media, this unhealthy obsession with being liked. And, and also the amount of anonymous trolls who were out there, you know, going out and crushing anyone who dared to be different. And we were also fed up in the crisis, the pandemic, when, you know, there were hundreds of thousands of independents and micro businesses who do more than one thing. They have more than one job. They didn't sit nice and tidily in a box. And when it came to government's help, they missed out. So we wanted to do something about it. I'm just going to share screen, show you the platform and tell you about the different people that we are helping. So bear me two seconds. I'm just going to scroll through as I'm talking. But, you know, we're working with students and educators. We're already working with about 50, 60 different colleges and universities. They love the fact that we don't do likes. We don't do comments. We don't have, you know, trolls on the site. It means that people can take risks. They can be whatever it is that they want to be. They love the fact that we fit perfectly into their syllabus. And we all, they also love the fact that we are you know, badging and connecting 200,000. Our ambition is to connect 200,000 creative students as they leave education every year and connect them with 150,000 micro businesses who don't have HR departments and aren't always great at recruiting. I'll pause on that there. We're also working for established creatives, be you an independent, be you a business. You know, we allow you to connect everything about you on the web, all of your content, all of your social media, all of your networks, but we don't use algorithms. We use indexing, you know, self-indexing. So you break down all of the different disciplines that you work in, all of the areas of expertise that you have within these disciplines and you will turn up in search results for anything that you've got experience in and you get the opportunity to evidence that that work and you'll see that our platform it's very audio it's very visual it's very interactive it's very not LinkedIn which we know was a cause of frustration for for many creatives but it allows people to be super niche and to still be found we're also working with professional bodies as well. ABTT was the first one off the block with us, where we are starting to help verify all of their membership status, all of their, the qualifications of these people. Everything is findable. Same with education, same with the different creative groups that you're a member of. The idea is, is that you just need one profile, connects everything about you in the web, we use indexing to find you. And when people find you, they can go through your platform. They can go onto your websites. They can go onto your social media. We just know that the power of indexing can be greater than the power of algorithms. The final group that we're working with is the local creative communities. We're working with, well, quite a number of them across the country. And we're building smart creative directories. We start by mapping all of the students coming into industry. We map all the creative people, all the creative businesses, all of the training opportunities, all of the jobs, all of the events. We want to build a single gateway to the industry based on indexing and help people navigate what is out there. The next generation, the edgy underdogs, the ones that are getting overlooked at the moment, they are the future legacy of our, of our industry. We are called Create Britain, but we are for anyone around the world who is working with Britain as a creative hub. 
you know, you can still build a profile. It's absolutely free. Our revenue model is based on advertising. So there's no cost. Finished to the second. There you go. That was brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're getting a big round of applause, Richard. Thank you so much. <laughs> spot you. on. Absolutely spot on. Gold star. Um, I've got lots of questions. I know we've chatted. I've still got more questions. I'm sure people will be really interested to learn more. So if you do, if you would like to reach out to Richard um, mm -hmm. and find out more, he's on our community hub. Uh, you, I'm sure you'll find him on LinkedIn and his contact details will be in the chat. So thank you so much. And if you're very, if you're fortunate enough to be paired up with him in the next breakout room, you can ask those questions. So we'll move on. Thanks again, Richard. That was that was great. Um, we're going to move move on. So if you're not on video and you not in your pajamas, please come back onto video because we're going to do breakout rooms. We're going to make them slightly larger this time, so you have a better chance to to meet everybody. And the lucky few might get into Jerome's um, ice cream van, which would be fantastic. Over there.